presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Live with... Tommy O'Brien, that's right. We got a one-two punch this morning happening. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Oh, that's right, huh? I'll see you again now. Did you say good morning to everybody? I'll see you again now. Yep, here you are. You're going to be coming right now, Tommy. They're going to see yourself. We're watching the YouTube stream, which is a few minutes, a uh, few seconds delayed. So he's waiting to see himself pop up there, and we will see it. And there he is. I'm ready for you. There he is. Yeah. You see it, buddy? There you are. He's got his own computer this morning, folks. Are you doing? Folks. folks, and what do you got? You got some Pringles? I got some Pringles here. Oh, those delicious, and you're doing some paint. Delicious yeah. Paint. Yeah, you're doing some paint and some circles. Circles. Squares. Squares and, and paints. Yeah, we'll okay. go over some. We'll go over some. We're gonna go over some toys today. We'll talk about some shapes. Huh? We got circles. We're doing circles right now on I'm MS Paint. Paint. Oh, it's so much fun! I know. It's so much fun! I know. <clears throat> How about the market? Is the market fun, Tommy? The market fun? I think it's fun. Is it fun? It's fun. It's fun. That's right. It's fun. Let's kick it off. We got the S&Ps. Flat. Yeah, S&P. Is it flat? It's flat. It's flat. Trading at 43.13. 43.13. That's right. We got a little bit of volatility this morning with some economic news, but the market's right now trading flat. I'm going to try and squeeze into this camera shot. As we got two people in the normal shot that I got one. Yeah, he's got his own big chair. You got your big chair this morning? I got this big chair. Oh, man, that's an awesome chair, Tom. I am making more. And I'm dazing this morning. And we got a mic. I'm going to hold the mic for right now, okay? You can hold it a little bit. No, don't touch it, okay? Because then they can hear you. We'll leave it right there for right now, okay? We got to get you a mic. I need two mics, folks. I know. I'm not used to having guests in my in my office. We got to get a guest mic for you. A co-host mic. Say a co-host mic. Co-host Yeah, he needs his co-host mic. Oh. oh, he's got my watch. He loves wearing my watch. I'm going to wear it for right now, okay? I'll put it on you at the break, maybe. Okay? So we should see it, folks. He was on here with me yesterday, right? We are going to get into the market. Put on the break, baby. Very soon, okay? You got to sit up right, okay? You're going to eat some of your Pringles? Have some no, juice? You're I'm sitting so... Sit. No, you sit right there. You're sitting so good, okay? It's going to be an adventure, folks. We'll see if we make it through the hour. But we're up. We're hanging out. We're always watching the markets. And why not do a live program with everybody watching, Tommy? Huh? Right? You say hi to everybody? Oh, you see yourself. I know. There you are. There you are. Yeah, you say hi to everybody. I know, huh? Yeah. All right, folks. We got the S&Ps negative by two. We got the NASDAQ 100 negative by 29. A little bit of volatility on some 830 economic numbers of GDP. We will get into that in a moment. Uh, Dow positive by four okay. points. Russell, positive by one. Positive by one. That's right. Tell them. We got crude. They got crude. $95 this morning. $95 this morning. Woo, baby. Can't do it now. No, you got your computer right here, okay? This is yours. Yeah, see? Right there. There it is. Oh, and you can touch them, too. Yeah, there you go. You can touch them. Uh, backing off from that $95 high crude, trading at 9302 this morning, you got the gold contract at... 1892. We're going to talk a lot about yields this morning, man. You talk about an acceleration on the yield front. The 10 year Daddy, Daddy, dives Daddy. lower all of yesterday. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. We got yields. What'd we say? Yields higher. We were saying yeah, higher. yields higher, Tommy. Yields higher. Tommy, what's the what's the 10 year at? Can you say 4.65? 4.65. 4.65%. But it's Folks, don't forget that. You got a two-year-old telling you. Are yields high? Yields high. Are they going higher? They're going higher. Oh, they're going higher, folks. You heard it first on the Tiger Financial News Network from Tommy O'Brien the Fourth. Yields are going higher. I'm my best friend, Daddy. You're my best friend, Daddy. Does it get any ama more amazing than that? Are you my best friend? My daddy. Oh. I'm my best friend. Oh, buddy. Uh, it doesn't get any sweeter than that, folks. They say, you know, I was thinking about... Um, the terrible two-year-olds, right? Yeah, we're, it's not even close, man. How about your best friend? 
He's my best friend. You're like the sweetest man in the world. You're being so good. Oh, and you got, you know, I bribe him with Pringles. I do. So I got. I love Pringles. Yeah. I do. I do. That's right. You tell him. We're going to get him his own show, man. Uh, You need your own show, man. That's right. He needs his own show, man. Uh, my little best, my little best friend. Can you, draw you can me? draw. You want to draw? You want to draw the paint? Yeah, we'll go right there. There you go. Now you can draw. Oh, uh, they say terrible two-year-olds, folks. How about terrific two-year-olds? How about uh, just amazing two-year-olds across the board? Because boy, they are a handful. Uh, uh, I can reach it. You can't reach can reach it. We'll, we'll slide it a little bit like that. Now you can reach it. Okay, go ahead. I can reach it. Too yeah. High. Is it too high? Here, what shape do you want? It's too high. Yeah, we got to leave it like that for one minute, folks. Uh, so, yields, right? 4.65% on the 10 year. Numbers. Where do we stop? Don't you do numbers? We've been talking about Don't you do it. What? Okay, we can do some typing. Here, watch. We've been talking about in this program, man, to recalibrate where you think things can possibly go. And the reason why is because our the context. Here we go, Tommy. You can do some numbers now. The context. Oh, there they are. Look, they're in the red. The context is so important because we've become used to an area where you back things up on the 30-year, and we've only been looking at rates since the financial crisis of 2007, 2008. You look at that chart right there. We're doing numbers. He's doing his numbers. And it seems pretty easy to say, you know what, man? I can't go wrong buying the 30-year at 112. We were just at 190. Uh, Anywhere on this chart, you're getting a bargain on 112. But guess what? That's just since the financial crisis. You back this up from the year of November of 2007 going back. We're trading at 112.26 right now. And as you see, that's basically the upper echelon of where bonds on the 30-year basis had been trading for an extended period of time. So there is a new that's normal in town. Selling. You're doing all your numbers. Is that number two? That's a number two. He loves his numbers. He loves his shapes. Uh, so I woke up this morning. And even yesterday, right? I said, man, it's happening. It's happening right now. It's all happening is the meme. And we're going to get into some of those numbers, man. But look at the volatility. We got a 107 handle. We're almost there today. We're almost, we're almost there. there. And we are a full point below where we were trading at yesterday. Uh, yeah, so keep that in mind. I've been talking about CD rates on this show, right? I've been talking about CD rates. Right now, you can ladder a five-year CD. Yesterday, it was 5.11. I got to pull it up today. I found this interesting from the journal this morning. You don't need five million bucks to get a six percent CD, folks. That might be slightly Yay, above. Birthday. Good job, Tommy. That might be slightly above what you're looking at, but this is talking about Bye. JP Morgan, okay? I will. Is giving you a six percent rate on a six month certificate of a deposit if they put five million or more into the product. Folks, that is barely above what you need. I want a sale. What you get. A sale, date. That's a okay. Sale. We can do another one. You can get 5.55 right now with a thousand dollars. Okay, so this article not doing due service to where CD rates are across the board, in my opinion. Okay, I mean, look at this number. They're they they're they're not giving you an accurate representation in the headline. Okay, you get down to it. Here's where they say other banks are advertising six month CDs paying five percent or more. Folks, they're everywhere right now. Okay, in G, you got TFNN up there. He's got the TFNN website up there. It's going to be a wild hour, folks. We're going to talk some CDs. You don't need $5 million to get 5 or 6% almost right now on a CD rate. We're coming back. We're talking to Kevin Hinks, We're Tom and Tommy O'Brien. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. All right, say welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah, he's watching the commercials for you, the Tiger's Den over the, the break. Tell him they got to get the Tiger's Den. Join all those tigers. Tiger. Got to do it. Welcome to the show. Welcome That's to the show. Me, yeah. yeah, we're going to get him his own show, folks. I'm it's going to happen. I, I was talking to my dad about it yesterday. It's going to happen. We got, we're going to put that down a little bit so they can see your handsome little face, okay? Ooh. Bye -bye. You saying hi? Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Yeah, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Woo, baby. We're back. We're back. That's right. Tell them. Tommy, consumer spending, what's it doing? Is it going down? It's going down. Oh, it's going down. That's right. He's getting a lesson, folks. Consumer spending rose at the weakest. The the weakest. Weakest pace. Weakest pace. In a year. Yeah. I tell you, you're going to remember the things I'm saying today more than you usually do when I have a chorus behind me, huh? Huh. Huh, yeah. So the numbers, man, let's pay attention. They are big numbers uh, on the wrong direction. Consumer spending, this is the reason why we got that oh. eight. Oh, that 8.30 reversal. There you are. See, look, we're looking at all the numbers. You're doing so good. 8.8%. Uh, 8%. Oh, no, I want oh. it. You have yours right here? This is yours. See, there you go. Yeah, 0.8% is the number from April to June. That is basically cut in half from the previous estimate. Due to weaker services outlays, according to the government figures published this morning. So we have personal consumption, which you know Chairman Powell is watching, going up 0.8%. The previous estimate was 1.7%. That is quite a haircut, folks. Overall, GDP rose at an unrevised 2.1% rate during the period. Stronger business fixed investment helped offset the slowdown in consumer spending, advancing at a 7.4% pace versus the previously 6.1%. So check it out. We have business fixed what investments. What's they doing? Oh, we got to press play. We got press play for you. He's watching our show down here. There they go. We're, we're going over the article. Don't worry. We'll be back in no time, Tom. We got a lot to talk about today. We got a lot to talk about. Tell him. We got a lot going on. You want your paint? No, I don't want me. No, you just want YouTube? I just want YouTube. Oh, he just wants YouTube, folks. I've been telling you, man. Figure out a way to buy some Google shares. That one, huh? We got to watch. What are we going to watch? You know what we're going to watch, folks? Dinosaurs. Yeah, are we watching some dinosaurs, Tommy? We're back, Daddy. 
Daddy. What's that? That's a crazy dinosaur, huh? No, not no. Uh, it's a brave new world where you get to work from home. Occasionally, you bring home on your children, uh, and that's the world we're living in right now, man. So GDP stayed constant at 2.1%. You had consumer spending decreasing dramatically from the previous estimate, and you had fix, fixed business investment increasing at 7.4 versus 6.1%. Net exports and inventories also revised higher, no longer acting as a drag on growth. All right, but check out the number, man. We're going all the way back to Q1 of 2022 to get that zero reading, basically. Uh, was that slightly negative? I forget. It might have even been slightly negative. So GDP comes in line. Investment up a bit. Consumer spending gets slashed. Residential investment not as deep of a decline as they first anticipated, uh, but nonetheless, we go forward from there, man. The broader economic picture remained largely the same over the past few years, a few noteworthy exceptions. Americans saved some $1.1 trillion less in the past six years than previously thought. Is that a wake up? Um, and GDP growth was revised lower in 2022. Inflation, however, was hotter. Personal consumption closing 2002 at 4.1% instead of 37 so there's some big numbers in these numbers across the board right now, man. Oh, you got Jurassic World. Jurassic World is ready. Yeah. You got Jurassic World here. In the second quarter figures, the PCE price index, excluding food and energy, that is core, rose at 3.7% in the second quarter, slowest pace of increase since 2021. The, the market is worried about the economy right now, folks. Stop. What are they doing? Stop. Are they stopping? Oh, that's a big dinosaur up there. What are they doing? Super the core point inflation point. rises at the slowest I pace since 2020. Stop. Stop. We got to talk to him about the market, Tommy. Stop. Hey, no yelling, please. Stop. No yelling. Are you are you watching pterodactyls? Tell them. Tell them. What are they doing? Are they flying? They're flying. They're flying, yeah. Uh, so it's interesting that we have... A market trading lower at the same time that we got yields trading higher, right? That was the case for last year, but there's a differing case this year, okay? In terms of this is not the Fed. This is now a recalibration of yields. You're seeing it, man. How about the 10-year at 4.65%, folks? We almost got a 106 handle in the 10-year. I mean, coming into the financial crisis, we were barely that high coming into the financial crisis, right? Not not when the financial crisis hit and rates got pulled back. Coming into the financial crisis, we are testing those lows. It is a brave new world, man. So be careful in this market as yields may have some way to go. I mean, this is a monthly. Did you have the September monthly going from a price point of almost 111 to almost a 106? Oh, it's Indominus Rex. It is, Tommy. It's Indominus Rex. Watch out. Whoa. That's your Pringle, okay? Yeah. Oh, is that good? Now, I know what you're saying, folks. Pringles at 930 in the morning. Not usually the case. We were already up. We already had some good breakfast. We're up at about 6 in the morning, man. We had some waffles. He's, he's likes Eggo waffles. You like blueberry waffles? Oh, he loves blueberry waffles. And he loves yogurt. We eat a lot of fruit. We eat a lot of yogurt. We're working on the vegetables right now. We're out of the bottle phase I talked about. That that persisted a little bit longer than we would have liked. Uh, but he was still eating well and occasionally going to bed or occasionally waking up. He, he'd, he'd asked for one. Not the end of the world. Um, but that's gone. He traveled to Europe, and it seems like that got it out of his system, man. Eight days, and I tell you, so proud of how he did when we were in Europe, folks, because he was able to adapt you know, I tried to have everything that you have in terms of what you need. You can't do that when you're traveling to Europe for a nine-hour journey. One example, right? Apple juice. He loves apple juice. And I tell you, what we buy is we buy the, the kid's tots apple juice. It has about 40% less sugar. And what's cool about that is that added sugar, and I'm going to digress all over the place today, but there's more to life than just the market. Did you get a little Pringle on me? That's okay. You got it? Yeah. Thank you. Um... Added sugar is the killer, folks. So even something like apple juice, 
there is a tremendous amount of added sugar. You want me to hold that for you? Thank you. That is normally in apple juice. Tremendous amount of added sugar. The key is, yeah, get some of your apple juice, buddy. There you go. There you go. You don't need it. Apple juice without the added sugar still has a ton in there of sugar because it's natural because fruit has a lot of sugar, okay? But that's not the killer. Everybody always gets worried about you have too much fruit, you have too much sugar. Folks, ne nobody's ever become obese and unhealthy. What do you want to do? We're coming into a commercial break, okay? I have to bring the donuts out there. Oh, you want to bring them in? Okay, we'll get them at the commercial break. That's perfect. We're coming into a commercial. We got to tell everybody that we're going to a commercial. All right, let's jump back so you can see it. Here we are, Tommy. There you are. You're drinking your juice. Up here. Hey, there you are. All right, we're going to tell everybody we're going to a commercial break. We're going to come back with Indominus. Tell them. We're going to come back with Indominus. We're going to come back with the opening bell, folks. We are going to get into some market action. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, everybody. We got the stock market open right now, and we, we got the, got the dinosaurs. and we got the dinosaurs, don't we, Zombie? We got dinos joining us with, as the market is hanging on to forty three hundred. Man, now listen, I was talking about on this program uh, quite the sell off yesterday, quite the reprieve. We got volatility in two directions, man. Our man Teddy Kegstad did an outstanding webinar last night talking about calendar spreads. If you didn't check it out, folks, if you weren't there live, it is archived. It is going to be up for members literally within the hour, probably. 
I encourage you to check it out. Teddy is an outstanding educator. Uh, my dad was talking about yesterday on his program, just saying, you know, Teddy was on the floor, man, okay? It's a breed of traders that really don't exist anymore in terms of living, breathing, dying. Trading as a floor participant on the floor. And he just did an outstanding job, I thought, tying the strategies into ways to trade them, okay? Everybody can figure out the strategy in a heartbeat, folks. You can Google a calendar spread, okay? You can Google it, and you can get a definition of what it is in an instant. But that is a specific strategy that I thought he did such a good job of explaining it last night. And in this market, just the two-way volatility that we have going on right now. Uh, oh, man, Tommy. So what we got here, folks, is we got – what do we got? You guys are your T-Rex? This is the Tyrannosaurus Rex, folks. We are all familiar. You may, yeah, we may not be as familiar. What do I have? What's this one? Who's this? Who's that? What's inside? That's Indominus Rex. Tell him. Yeah, that's for scanning, huh? That's for scanning. Don't worry. But we'll, we'll, we'll make him raw. Ready? Ready? Make him raw. Make him raw. Oh. Oh, now, what's so cool about this on the business front, right, is that you look up Jurassic World. So, 1993, which is amazing. I'll see you again. When they I'll took, see you okay, again. it's when, whoops, watch that computer. We're going to knock down a laptop in the process, but that's okay. It's insured by TFNN. No, I kid. Uh, 1993 was when that original Jurassic Park came out. Do you remember that? I was 13 years old. I was like a perfect age. Oh, he's eating a dinosaur. Bring them in here so they can see him. Huh? Watch. See? Put him like that. Oh, there he is. Watch. You'll see him moving the shot. Uh, 1993 was when that film first came out. Okay? And what's amazing is, think about it. Here we are, 30 years later. My son is two years old, and it's all he's about, man. We were on a big train kick with Thomas the Train. We still got trains all over the house, but dinosaurs is the thing. Oh, did you get me? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh. Now, who owns, who owns the rights to Jurassic World? Steven Spielberg does. Not even the studio. Steven Spielberg does. Okay, you gotta love it. Um, he came on as the first directing. I mean, he was at a high point in the '90s, right? This is one of the films. He, of course, had Jaws, um, with many others. But what I thought was so cool here is is that you have Amblin Entertainment, okay, which is his. You want some more Pringles? You can have a Pringle, buddy. Hold on, I'll hold T-Rex. Want me to hold T-Rex for you while you eat your Pringle? Okay. Um, so Spielberg brought the book, which was written by Michael Crichton, okay, I believe that's how you announce it, uh, pronounce it. And in 1990, Universal and Amblin bought the rights to the novel, okay? But what's so amazing here is that Amblin is the one that seems like they get. Yeah, let me. So this is where we got here. <clears throat> Universal and Amblin Entertainment have the rights for Jurassic Park attractions, merchandise, characters, etc. for the theme parks. You have no idea how pervasive this stuff is among kids. Television and film rights are owned by Sp Steven Spielberg's production company and Universal. Okay, so you have a dinosaur exhibit, a Jurassic Park exhibit at Universal Studios. Okay, both Universal Studios Florida and Universal Studios Hollywood has a Jurassic Park. So we're going to have to visit that, Tommy. We are. I'll see him yeah. again. Um, but Universal is the one that they partner with, but Amblin, man, they've held on to it for a long time. And that's probably why it's actually not readily available on any simple streaming service in terms of on Disney or on any of them because Amblin contain, um, retains part of that, which, which I don't think has been picked up by one of those big streamers net just yet. Maybe. Oh, you? Oh, man. I know. We're all over the place today, folks. But this is how it goes. Who's going to win, Daddy? I know. Who's going to win, Tommy? It is interesting to see no, how you make no, one amazing wait. deal, no. right? No. No. Hey, can we not yell? Everybody's listening. They're watching us. We can't yell, okay? Yeah, they're watching us. They're right there. All the people. Yeah. See, they say terrible two-year-olds, man. That's only because they're getting smart enough to actually have real conversations with you. So I encourage, if you have kids in the household to this degree, this age... 
Uh, nothing terrible at all. They get a bad rap, man. All they got is they got the intelligence to finally have real conversations with you, express themselves in a real way. I know. What's he doing, buddy? And so Indominus is the dinosaur that they created in the 2015 film. Okay? A lab-created uh, crossbreed of dinosaurs. So not a real dinosaur, right? Just in the movies. Uh, 2015. But it's amazing when you look. They had... 1993, T-Rex. they came back with the second one in 1997, no, they came back in 2001, the they then had a 14 year hiatus until 2015, and then they banged them out in 2018 and 2022, I believe, nope, yes, yeah, yeah, 2018 and 2022, uh, maybe 2021, depending on how those sit, for kids, it's amazing that you can control it because everything we buy, it seems like, is not just dinosaurs. Everything we buy is actually a Jurassic World dinosaur. Think about that, right? They cornered the market on selling Tyrannosaurus Rex toys to children. How do you do that, man? One good deal by Steven Spielberg and Amblin Entertainment. Universal's in there as well. Uh, but these are Jurassic World dinosaurs, right? Steven Spielberg has gotten his cut of that. And I imagine Amblin Entertainment, that they'll somewhere. I mean, that's got to be quite an acquisition that somebody could make. What you got? No, you can't touch. You want to say hi? You can talk. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Yeah. We're talking dinosaurs. It's what's your like dinosaurs. What's your favorite dinosaur, Tommy? T-Rex. T-Rex. That's right. Oh. And it is amazing how the T-Rex always dominates, right? There's something special about those. I want the bird. I want the you want to see? Look, there you go. Look at there we are with the dinosaurs, Tommy. They're looking at you. You're you're in the middle of the shot. I'm in the side of the shot today. You're the main attraction. Yeah. All right. Let's talk a little bit of market for for the viewers today, uh, Tommy. And back to the six percent CD, okay? I'm use this one. You want to use this one, okay? I'll use that one. We're gonna use that one too. Hold on one second, because I'm gonna tell them what CD rates are. Because I think this article from Bloomberg does a disservice to how they highlight what you need to get a 6% CD I'll when I've been talking. You, you can do this one. Yeah, do I'll that one. You on the computer. No, this is your computer for today. You want to do a different one? Look, I'll pull it up for you. You want to do YouTube? I'll do YouTube. Look, there they are. Which one do you want? Now, what this article talks about on Bloomberg, uh, excuse me, Wall Street Journal, not Bloomberg, shame on me. We're going to talk about it when we get back, okay? But tell your friends, tell your fam family, okay? You don't need a lot of money, folks, to get a dramatic yield right now across the board, okay? So we're going to talk about it when we get back right now, but I'm going to talk to you about yields that you only need $1,000 to get. Stay tuned, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. We get the S&Ps right now, right near the session lows of 4307. We're trading off five points. You get the NASDAQ off 55, the Dow off 20, Russell barely in the positive. Checking on crude, 9270, off of the highs of 95. But boy, Tuesday, we were trading at almost an 87 handle in the price of crude. You jump over to the gold contract, up about a dollar. We jump over to the dollar index this morning. How about yesterday, right? Up to almost 107. We're backing off a bit. 106.31 right now for the dollar index. And we check in on that 10-year. I want to see him in the water. Again. Pretty calm day for the 10-year. I want to see him in the water. Yeah, we're watching dinosaur videos here, huh, Tommy? Tell him. There you go. He's going in the water. Okay. Now, getting back to the CDs. I mean, this is quite a puff piece from the journal. First of all, it's written as a Wall Street Journal news exclusive that basically is a pay-to-play promotion of a JP Morgan CD that is barely above market rates that you need to give them $5 million for, okay? Uh, they've got a deal for you. I see him in the water. We're gonna see more in afterwards. He's watching, a, he's watching a long video and he just loves one part where they're on the water. Huh, well, let's see if they go in the water more. Oh, look, is that, is that a Spider-Man T-Rex? Where's the Where is it? Oh, what are they doing? Oh, there it is. I saw it. So check this out, okay? You can get a 6% rate on a six-month certificate of deposit if you put $5 million bucks in J.P. Morgan, okay? That's what I mean. Now, they have lost 20... That's what I mean. That's yours, I know. They've lost... Check out the numbers as we jump around here, okay? They added $900 billion in deposits in 2020 and 2021 when everybody had a lot of money, stimulus included. But over the past year, deposits in J.P. Morgan's asset and wealth management unit have fallen 22%. Okay? So they're talking about the wealth – yeah, the asset and wealth management unit in particular. Okay? So they're trying to beef that up. Now, they tell you here that – If you put less than a hundred grand in, you can earn four percent. Folks, who is doing that? Because here is the rates as of today. A one year. Look at the first of all, look at the three, six, nine, and twelve month. These are non callable CDs. Five point five percent. That takes one thousand dollars is all you need for the minimum, folks. Okay? So I don't know who is putting money into JP Morgan at four percent when you can get 5.5% all day with just a thousand bucks. You want a five year ladder, you're at 5.12% and I imagine this is going up, okay? Because <coughs> this takes a little bit of time for banks to put those CD rates out there. We just saw rates spike yesterday a little bit higher. But just keep your eye on, on some of these things, man. To call this article a Wall Street Journal news exclusive, um, tag it as such, and then put it out that you can get a 6% rate on a six-month certificate if you put $5 million bucks in. Well, you can get a 5.5%. Well, I'll do okay. the red T-Rex. The red T-Rex. We'll go get them at the next break, okay? Oh, they got the red one, too. 
they do, don't they? Yeah, and what's amazing is all the videos that he ends up watching have the same exact Jurassic. That's your T-Rex, Tommy, isn't it? We're going to wait. we got to wait for the break, okay? We can't go out there just yet. Um, so I made the point, man, but I don't know who wrote this piece. Yes, I do know who wrote this piece. Rachel Luis Ensign. Not familiar. Maybe I should be. Um, but what the heck, man? You know, that this should be a, a takedown piece in terms of why they're highlighting rates as something special when any single CD you go across to banks across the country, FDIC insured, non-callable CDs. That's what I just showed you, folks. FDIC insured, non-callable CDs for a five-year ladder right now is 5.12%. They're talking about six-month CDs, okay? Six-month CDs. Who? That's, that's nothing. You're getting right now 5.5%. So what are they giving you? An extra half a percent over what they're giving somebody with $1,000 is what they're giving you if you bring $5 million. And if you bring under a hundred grand, they are giving you I a... I want the now. Yeah, we got wheat because we're in, we're, we're in the live show. Um, you know, it just keeps going up. You go. You go get the I can't. Bag. We're, we're live go. on the air. Look, no, I'll show you. No. We're live on the air. They can see you right there. See, we can't go just yet. We got to wait for a commercial break. We're talking about CD rates, Tommy. Yeah, I know, huh? All right, let's check around on some of the equities that are moving this morning. No, we got a couple. No, no, we can't leave just yet. Micron shares are lower after their earnings last no. night. They trade lower on the open, too, off 5.1% right now. They estimate a fiscal quarter loss of a buck oh seven a share, and mm, analysts were looking for about 95 cents a share. Um, what else we got going, Tommy? Yeah, how about CarMax? So CarMax shares trade lower on their numbers. Let's see. The company said uh, it earned $0.75 cents a share on $7.07 billion is the number on CarMax. It bought about 15% fewer vehicles from consumers and dealers from the previous year as a steep market depreciation hurt volume out there and we got to jump to peloton they got to deal with hey, lululemon go out there. we're almost done you're doing so great tommy peloton shares no, so no no yeah no. did you show everybody your dinosaur shirt should we show them your dinosaur shirt let's show them let's show them does it have a volcano let me see your shirt what's it do I know. I it's no small feat doing an hour-long program, folks. I, I tell you. Go out there. Yeah, we we got about a minute I'll until go the out break. There. Yeah, you want to go out there? Okay. Okay. I tell you what. If my producer could help me out, we'll cut to this break real quick. I said it. Can you say that? Our man Al helping us I out. Mean, Our man Al helping us out, huh? Daddy. So if we could cut to the commercial Daddy. break, here we go. Daddy. He's on point as usual. I appreciate it, Al. And we'll come right back. We might have Tommy. We might not. We might have a red dinosaur. Hey, say goodbye. We're gonna we're gonna go to break. Hey, you guys, sit up and say goodbye. Sit up. Say goodbye. Say we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Okay. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Red Dinosaur. Welcome back, folks. I appreciate you hanging out with us hour as we jump around a bit. Marcus in negative territory, but barely. Tommy's got his red dinosaur now, the red T-Rex. Oh, there you go, buddy. Uh, so jumping around to Peloton and Lululemon, this one's an interesting one out there, as you have a partnership to some degree. Uh, they're going to share digital content and apparel partnership with Lululemon is what Peloton's going to do. Peloton catches the real lift here, a five-year... Five-year strategic partnership is what they have going on, and they're gonna Peloton's gonna develop digital fitness content for Lululemon. Lululemon is gonna become Peloton's primary Daddy, athletic apparel Daddy, provider. Daddy, what you got? Oh, I got them right here, Tommy. <sighs> yeah, they got them right there. You got to love the life of a child, folks. It's all about playing, and that's how it should be. You know, you teach them what you can in the process of playing, but that's how we were all created. Try and go out there and have a little bit of fun today because um, it's all about playing. That's what life is about. This is life. This is basically life right now. Um, we're playing with dinosaurs. We're growling. We do it all until it's nap time, and then we do it all again until it's dinner time, man. Uh, you got Peloton giving back some of it. Lululemon off about a half a percent. Uh, not really on that deal potentially, but there is Peloton shares. They give back some of it. This thing been in the doldrums to put it lightly, but you gotta like uh, you gotta like that deal potentially. As Lululemon will be a partner, and Lululemon man it doesn't get much better than that company partnering as this market. And they said it in the den. I'm not sure who said it, but I agree, man. Market holding up relatively well with what's happening with rates right now. As you got the S&P in positive territory, NASDAQ barely in the red right now. Let's jump around to some of the FANG stocks as we kick things off. A lot of FTC talk, right? Amazon down another 2% this morning. We jump over to Google shares, basically flat at 131.51. We jump over to Apple shares, the big dog, off about half a percent this morning. And we're going to finish it up with Tesla, folks. Tesla up 1%. Take a little bit longer term picture of Tesla shares. You trade from about 100 bucks up to 300 this year. You back right off to the 382, which puts you at about 224. And what do we have? We jump around the article, if I can find it quick enough, and I can. Come on, where are we? Here we go. Article from the journal out this morning. Interesting, talking about how much is Tesla worth? You decide no matter what. The valuation, yeah, it's a factor of people love this equity, folks, okay? This is the days in which Tesla was one of the top three most popular stocks with retail investors, and look at what's happening this year. So be careful, but that goes both ways, okay? Because look at the top 10 U.S. stocks by short interest. Now, where this gets a little bit deceiving 
is compared to their market cap, $20 billion, not as big as some of the other companies down here, down the line, of course. But look at that, man. Short interest through the roof. The most popular stock every single day in terms of how many shares are getting traded. But you got an $860 billion valuation. You talk about multiples, man. These car companies must be knocking their heads saying, how does Elon do it? Um, but nonetheless, yeah, check this out, right? A discounted cash flow valuation shows the math. We created a simplified model of Tesla's finances to calculate a theoretical enterprise value based on different assumptions about the company's prospects. The implied market value would be this number plus cash on the balance sheet, currently $23 billion in Tesla's case. They got some multiples to put it lightly, but hey, the market's never wrong. Tesla trading at 243, S&P up by four. That's the end of the show, Tommy. We're gonna say goodbye to everybody, that's the end. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining. Yes, it will see you later. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Stay tuned for Basil. Building wealth.